flows. Tantra, the pure science, not a moral concept. Because of this unreal personality, whatsoever you try, whatsoever you do, whatsoever you see becomes unreal. Tantra says truth can happen to you only if you again are grounded in the real. But to be grounded in the real, you have to be very courageous with yourself because the unreal is convenient and the unreal is so much cultivated and your mind is so much conditioned that you will become immediately afraid of the real. Tantra is pure science. It has nothing to do with your morality. Tantra is not a moral concept. It is neither moral nor immoral. It is amoral. Beyond the duality of moral and immoral. Beyond the duality of morality and immorality. It is a science and science is neither. Your moralities and concepts concerning moral behavior are irrelevant for Tantra. Tantra is not concerned with how one should behave. It is not concerned with any ideals. It is concerned basically with what is, what you are. This distinction has to be understood deeply. Morality is a concept with, morality is concerned with ideals, how you should be, what you should be. Therefore, morality is basically condemning. You are never the ideal, so you are condemned. Every morality is guilt creating. You can never become the ideal. You are always lagging behind. The gap is gap will always be there because the ideal is impossible. And through morality, it becomes more and more impossible. The ideal is there to be achieved somewhere in the future. And you are here now. And you go on comparing. You are never the perfect man. Neither can be. Something is always lacking. Then you feel guilty. And there is self-condemnation. One thing, Tantra is against self-condemnation because condemnation can never transform you. For transformation, you have to accept yourself as you are. If you want someone to transform, never condemn that person. Condemnation can only create hypocrisy. Then he will try to pretend to show that he is what he is not. Hypocrisy means you are the real man, not the ideal one. But you pretend, you try to show that you are the ideal man. Then you have a split within you and you have a false face. The unreal is born and Tantra is basically the search for the real man, not the unreal one. Of necessity, every morality creates a hypocrisy. It will do so it will do so inevitably. Hypocrisy will remain with morality. It is part of it like the shadow. It will look paradoxical because moralists are men who condemn hypocrisy the most and they are the creator of hypocrisy. And hypocrisy cannot disappear from the earth until unless morality disappears 
they both exist together like shadow indeed they are two aspects of the same coin morality gives you the ideal while you are not the ideal that is why the ideal is given to you then you start feeling that you are wrong and that this wrongness is natural it is given to you you are born with it and you cannot immediately do anything about it you cannot transform it it is not so easy you can only suppress it because that is easy but there are two things that you can do you can create a false face then you can pretend to be something that you are not it saves you then you can move more easily in the society more conveniently and inwardly you have to suppress the real because the unreal can be imposed only if the real is suppressed so your reality goes on moving downwards into the unconscious and your unreality becomes your conscious your unreal part becomes more dominant and the real recedes back you are divided and the more you pretend the greater will be the split the gap the child is born as one whole that is why every child is so beautiful spontaneous and natural the beauty is because of the wholeness the child has no gap no split no divisions no fragments he is one the real and unreal are not there he is not aware of the concept of real and unreal the child is simply real authentic you cannot say that the child is moral the child is neither moral nor immoral he is beyond the two he is just unaware that there is something like moral or immoral the moment he becomes aware the split starts then the child begins behaving in unreal way because to be real becomes more and more difficult for him this happens of necessity remember because the family has to regulate the parents have to regulate the child has to be civilized educated and cultured he is to be given manners cultivated otherwise it will be impossible for the child to live as part of the society and move within the social norms he has to be told do this do not do that and when we say do this the child's reality may not be ready to do it it may not be real there may be any de real desire within the child to do it and when we say do not do this or do not do that the child's nature may like to do it we condemn the real and we enforce the unreal because the unreal go is going to be helpful in an unreal society an unreal is going to be convenient where everyone is false the real is not going to be convenient and a real child will be in a basic difficulty with the society because the whole society is unreal this is 
a vicious circle we are born in a society and not a single society has existed on the earth which is real and this is a vicious circle a child is born as part of society and society is already there with its fixed rules regulations behaviors and moralities which the child has to learn and adopt when he will grow he will become false then children will be born to him and he will make them false again this is our inheritance we have inherited it and we want to leave for the future generation and this goes on and on what to do we cannot change a society or if we try to change a society we will not be there when the society will be changed it will it will take an eternity of time what to do the individual can become aware of this basic split within that the real has been suppressed and unreal has been imposed this is pain this is suffering this is hell you cannot get any satisfaction through the unreal because through the unreal only the unreal satisfactions are possible and this is natural only through the real can the fulfillment can the satisfaction happen so all your problems in life of misery of this and that is because of the unreal through the real you can reach the reality through the real you can reach the truth through the unreal you can only reach more and more hallucinations illusions dreams and through the dreams you can deceive yourself but you will never be satisfied for example in a dream if you feel thirsty you may dream that you are drinking water this will be helpful and convenient for sleep to continue if this dream where you dream you are drinking water is not there your sleep will be broken a real thirst is there it will break the sleep the sleep will be disturbed the dream is a help it will give you a feeling that you are drinking water but the water is false this is happening not only in sleep instead in your whole life this is happening you are searching for things through the unreal personality which is not there which is just a face it if you do not get them you will be in misery and if you get them then too you will be in misery if you get them the misery will be lesser remember this and if you do not get them the misery will be more psychologists say that because of this unreal personality we basically never want to reach the goal because if you reach the goal you will be totally frustrated you will live in hope in hope you can continue there is a dream you can never reach the goal you never come to realize that goal is false a poor man is struggling for riches is more happy in the struggle because in the struggle there is a hope and this is how the life continues and up for now